good morning internet. I just thought I'd give you a bit of a catch up before we get stuck into the work this week. Um, so where are we up to? Uh, some new orders, uh, some new parts I've received. Um, a little bikini fairing. So uh, we'll be uh, getting that ready to go on. I started making a bit of work, a bit of uh, progress on the tank. I thought I'd just, uh, just get the outer <laughs> layers of paint off. Uh, just so we could see if there was much in the way of repair work to the tank. You can see there's a, some filler here, uh, but it looks like it's uh, been repaired quite well. Uh, but I'm going to take it down a lot further yet. Um, and I think there's uh, some signs of some repairs here as well. And um, there's definitely some filler in the back here, but I haven't got, uh, haven't got that off yet. Overall, the tank looks in good condition. The inside is uh, really quite clean. I mean, I've had petrol in it. I left probably the best part of a gallon in it, just to see if we were going to get any uh, bubbling off or uh, leaks. Underneath looks very good, very clean. The only bubbling that we uh, experienced really was around the top of the cap edge. And uh, I think that was mainly because the guy who painted it with cheap paint, cheap, you know, uh, aerosol paint, that wasn't fuel um, or, or able to withstand fuel, I can't think of the word, and uh, because of that when I got some petrol you know, on there when I was filling it up um, it's probably just taking it off a bit really. So I'm really quite pleased with the overall condition of the tank. Uh, the only other thing I've bought this week really is uh, electrical wire um, loom repair kit. Uh, again, it's an eBay purchase, but I really liked it. It was only about £7.50, something like that. But it's all the plugs that I'm going to need. So it's replacement black plugs, you know, it's all of the... Rather than being just the spade connectors and what have you, it's the actual um, sort of sockety plugs that go onto the uh, flashy unit and uh, back of the head like that sort of thing, really. So quite handy. I don't know how many of them I'll use, but, you know, it's certainly a good start. Uh, hopefully the sound issue is now sorted so um, you can hear me properly. Um, I think, as I said last week, the plan for this week really is to try and get the engine out uh, and certainly um, you know, make some headway with it really. Uh, I've ordered some paint for the frame. Uh, I've used custom cans again. I'm going to do it in a base black with a 2K clear coat. Um, I was really pleased with how the Zephyr frame came out, even though I left the engine in when I painted it. Uh, but the, the paint work looked really, really nice, so I think I'm going to do that myself. I've been in touch this week with Dream Machine to see if uh, they could give me a price on doing the bodywork. And, uh, you know, considering it's really the tank, the fairing, a mudguard, two side panels and a small tailpiece, the quote came in at £750 plus VAT, so... Uh, I think I'll be trying to find an alternative for that. I might even do it myself yet. Uh, I haven't decided. But yeah, that's where we're up to at the moment. Um, I hope you've been enjoying the videos. Uh, I think our subscribers have uh, gone up a few. And um, you know, if there's anything in particular you want me to focus on, just drop me a comment below and I'll, uh, I'll answer that. Um, but in the meantime, I hope you're enjoying the videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the uh, in the next video. Thank you.